Alright guys, it's that time again. 2015 is over, over, over. Over, I don't know how to say over, like that. <laughs> Welcome 2016, but it is time, it is time to talk about all the products that I loved, my top favorites, if you will, of 2015. So, I have a huge pile here on my desk waiting to be spoken about, so enough of this jibber-jabber long intro, we're not going through that today, let's jump into everything. I have my book ready. Ready. Yeah. Girl has to take notes. You have to be prepared. Alright, so we are going to go through these products as I would use them. So let's start off with primers. Makes sense, right? Makes sense, right? I have three different primers that I absolutely love this year. Uh, one of them kind of counts for three, but it's the same brand, so I'm not going to get all like crazy about it. This is... Oops. <laughs> this is the uh, Prime Time by Mare Bear Minerals. We've got the oil control, we've got the neutralizing, and we have the brightening. These primers are awesome. They really caught me off guard because I had had them for, I don't know, five, six months before I even tried them. Went ahead, used them. Like, I got them all at Gen Beauty back in like 2000 and I want to say 2014, and I had them for six months and never even maybe even a year, honestly. So my favorite one is the oil control because this really helps my foundation to stay on a long time and my oil doesn't break through because I do have an oily T-zone. I have an oily everything actually. And this is my second bottle of this. When Ulta was doing their 21 Days of Beauty, I got one of these for like half off. Um, I like the neutralizing tint when I'm having a very red day. <laughs> when my face is very red and this will help just counteract that. And the brightening one is when I'm feeling a little bit dull. Usually after I'm sick, truth be told. All three of those primers primers are really great. So give them a go. Give them a go. Give them a go. The next primer that I love this year is the Maybelline Blur and Smooth uh, Master Prime by Face Studio. It is a long ass name, but it is a great ass primer. The reason why I love this is because it goes on like a lotion. I'm wearing it today. It helps make your pores look not so prominent and it's it's wonderful for, for helping your skin texture. I wouldn't say that this helps keep my foundation on longer. I'm gonna be honest about that. But this is more for the look of the foundation, not for the longevity of it. Longevity of it. You can get this at Target and Walmart and, yeah, Target and Walmart for the cheapest amount of money. And coupons apply. So yeah, great product. The next primer that I'm talking about, and is the final one, is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This product is something that will make your foundation look like skin. First of all, what I do is I'll put on a primer like the Maybelline Face Studio one that I did today, and then I will spritz this all over my face. It gets a little tacky, and then you put your foundation on with your beauty blender right after that, and it literally just shears out the foundation, and it looks like you have none on your skin. It is so amazing. This product is dynamite, dynamite, and you can get it in the to-go area in Sephora if you want to try the little one, like the little baby one, so you don't have to get the big one. So, yeah. This is a great one. I love it. Look, halfway done. Halfway done with it. Ugh. And I use this all the time. Honestly, guys, every time I put on foundation, this little puppy is the start of the day. Mm. Next, we're talking about face. We're going into foundation and concealer. Oh, all right. I'm going to start with the high-end products that I love, the top two, which if you guys watch my channel, this is not going to be any surprise to you. First, we've got the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation, right? Luminous Weightless Foundation? Like, ugh. all day, Luminous Weightless Foundation. My color is in Mont Blanc, which is light too. This is amazing. It is a great, great serum foundation. It gives great coverage. It's a medium foundation, I'd say. You could even get full if you, like, use the right primer and you pair it with, um... Uh, powder? <laughs> okay. So this is a great, great foundation. I love it. This got mixed reviews this year and hey listen, it's, it's not everything that's going to work for everybody. I happen to love this. I think it does not go on well if you use a buffing brush. You have to use your fingers or bl a beauty blender. I use a beauty blender and I got the most amazing finish with this foundation every single time. I only have about half left. So, oh, this actually replaced the 
NARS Sheer Matte Foundation, I believe. So there's no more sheer matte and just this, so. Okay, so the next foundation I actually just got in October and it just stole the game, changed my foundation routine, and that is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This product is friggin' amazing. I did not like the HD foundation before. I just, I tried it so many times and I bought two or three different colors and it just never sat right on my skin. Like, I was never wowed by it. So everybody that used it just thought it was so great and I was like, you know? just like that. <laughs> and I discovered this, well it was actually introduced to me at Gen Beauty this year and uh, I just, I love it. I love it so much. It's a beautiful color match. It's what I'm wearing on my skin today. Um, it just, it goes on, it doesn't break down on my skin and it looks like skin. Like it looks like the texture of my skin. It's so, so beautiful you guys. You need to get a sample from um, Sephora if you've not tried this before. This is definitely worth the investment. It's absolutely stunning. My color is in R230 which is the former color 115. Which actually makes sense because I was getting colors 120, 117. No wonder why it never worked for me. Next on to the drugstore, I'm going to show you this here. This is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I, I was like, where's the name? The caps are on backwards. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me. I don't have a color that matches me. So I mix 110 porcelain and 112 ivory and I get my perfect shade. This one's a little bit more yellow. 110 is more yellow and 112 is more pink. So I mix the two together and it matches me perfectly. I do not get super long wear out of this foundation. So if I'm going out like on a Saturday or something like that, I will wear this foundation. If I'm only planning on wearing it for like six or so hours, then it works really well. It does not keep me matte and it does not keep me poreless. Like, I, yeah, that's just the fact. It just does not stay matte and poreless on me. Like, I definitely have to set this. Um, I think it's a great foundation. It's definitely my favorite for the year. And um, th there are little, uh, you know, uh, things that I don't like about it. But that doesn't mean that it's one, not one of my favorites of the year. So, great drugstore foundation. And it's nice and inexpensive. The two concealers that I am loving this year, first of course, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. My color is in Vanilla Light 2. This is bomb.com whenever I have blemishes or I'm not feeling like wearing a whole lot of foundation, I just want to go on with concealer. This is it. This is all I wear. I'll dot this all over my T-zone, blend it out with a buffing brush and that's it. That's all I need for the day. The phone? Really? I'm not picking it up. It's not gonna be anyone good. Okay, that's it. All right, so this is obviously one of my favorites. This has been my favorite for a few years now. Love it. Um, the second favorite I have is also Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. My color is in the color Fair and is number 15. I also was using this for foundation just like I do with this. These two are amazing. I love both of these concealers. I love the NARS one a little bit more because the color matches me better. The Fit Me foundation range in concealers is really limited, so that's kind of disappointing, but I do love this formula. And I can see why people do compare them, but this is a lot thinner than the, the creamy concealer. The creamy concealer is definitely creamier. Creamier, yeah. But um, hey, listen, it's a fraction of the price, so can't really complain there. Great, great products, both of them. Love them. Love it. So moving on to uh, face powders. I don't have a whole lot of powders to talk about, so I'm just going to talk about my two faves. First, of course, is my Serenity Scott Press Powder Fountain. Pressed Powder Foundation in Ferris. You guys know I am a huge fan of Serenity and Scott. They are friends of mine. I absolutely love them, but that is not why I always talk about their products. I talk about their products because they are bomb digs. They are quality, and everybody that I get to try them goes banana sandwich over them. This is the color Ferris. I, uh, my Ferris is looking a little 
empty. <laughs> I do have a backup inside my drawer though. Uh, this foundation is creamy and silky and it never looks cakey and it's so absolutely beautiful. It goes on your skin like velvet and it glows. You can use this without a, using a, a foundation or concealer and just use this as a foundation. I usually use this as a setting, you know, as a setting powder and it gives me a little bit of extra coverage. This product is beautiful and it is just, oh, I love it. You guys need to head over to Stray Scott. Check it out because, yeah, tell my son ciao. This next powder is the Graftobian Makeup. This is the French Silk HD Setting Powder. I like to bake, ugh, bake, I hate saying that, but I like to set my liquid um, concealers under my eyes, on my forehead, and my chin with this. I'll put, I'll put it on when I cook for a little while, whatever, bake, roast, fry, whatever you wanna say. Um, I put this with a beauty blender under my eyes. I let it sit for a minute or two, and then I wipe off the excess. And then I go back with the beauty blender, and I just stamp over it and it just makes it look like skin. This is the greatest loose setting powder I've ever tried, you guys. It does have flashback. It's great for video, horrible for flashback. So if you're going for weddings or anything like that, definitely not the powder for you. But if you can get your hands on this, do it because it is bomb. Why is my red light death blinking already? I kind of have my battery. Okay, and now we're gonna, since we're on face already, we're gonna talk about contour, highlight, and blush. It just seems like the best, you know, like, it moves, like it's smooth. Does this shirt look like pajamas? Like, why does it look like pajamas to me? I assure you this is not pajamas. They're like little steering wheels, like nautical. Okay. My favorite contour powder, NYX Blush and Taupe. This is the old school one, which you can still get. Okay, so I'm talking about it. I used it today, I love it. It is perfect for cool toned, pale women, people like me. <laughs> I love this so, so much. They keep saying that they're discontinuing it and then like NYX keeps putting it back on their website. I don't know what their deal is, but I love this product so much. And whenever people see it online, they tag me, they tweet me, they tell me on Instagram, which I love you guys for that so much. Like, thank you so much for thinking about me. I love this product. It is my holy grail. And yeah, as much as I try other products, just none of them can compare to this. I just love it so much. It's so good. It's so good. All right, let's talk about highlighters. Let's talk about highlighters. Let's talk about glowing skin. Da, da. All the good things and the bad things that may be. Okay, Samantha, just stop. Samantha, just stop. Okay, uh, this next one is by The Bomb. This is a Mary Lou Manizer. This is a cult favorite. Who doesn't love Mary Lou? It is so gorgeous. This is the most beautiful champagne highlight in the world. I love it. It's it's not even really just champagne. It's like the shimmering, oh, I, I don't know. It's just like the shimmering, delicious, goldy, champagne-y, wonderful, I don't know. It's good. I've had this for years. I love it and it is bomb. Definitely my favorite highlighter of all time. When I'm going for more of a natural, dewy kind of highlight, I go for this. This is a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This makes your skin look, I don't know, it look, makes it look more like, like it was sweating in like the best way possible. So this is what it looks like. It's got more of a, like a bronzy hue to it. I don't know, it's got like that more fleshy hue. Like it's not as noticeable in the color kind of way. It's just more, you know, it's more like fleshy, but it's just as beautiful as Mary Lou. Like gorgeous, these, these highlighters, my face. Um, my third one is by Becca, <sighs> Champagne Pop. I gotta give it to Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline Hill. She killed it with this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. I would like to talk about a gold highlighter, but I feel like people might start spitting at the camera. Look at the camera. At their phones, or their TVs, or their iPads. Because if I talk about Whistler of Guilt by MAC, people are going to shoot me. Ah, yeah, because you can't get it. So, Champagne Pop is like this peach is this peachy gold highlight. It's absolutely stunning, and I love it so much. Oh, it's just like, hello, champagne, plummy kind of flesh, and then a peach. So beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. She did a great job with this. Now for blush. Let's talk about blush. These are my top three blushes. And they all kind of look the same. 
I'm not gonna lie, they kind of all look the same, so you guys can't judge me. All right, first up we have the Hourglass Ambient Blush in a Mood Exposure. This is a nice, subtle, plummy kind of, you see the color. Um, this is so, so beautiful, you guys, and I feel like this just, it, it's just gorgeous, like, <laughs> it's just gorgeous, like, I don't even know how to explain it, it's just perfection. Um, Mood Exposure is probably my favorite blush of all time. I would previously give that title to NARS Deucer, Deucer, do, do you care how I say it? Um, but it is discontinued, so I am definitely banned from talking about that in this video. So, great blush. Um, my other two blushes kind of learned just like that, and this is Exposed by Tarte. Again, like a plummy, kind of mauve kind of, you know what I mean? Like, this is what I like. Listen, this is what I liked for the year. I have to be honest with you guys. Like, I can't say that I like these things even though I didn't because I want to give variety, okay? I gotta keep it real. All right, so this is what Exposed look like. Exposed, it's like a little bit more I don't know, non showing up on my skin. <laughs> it doesn't show up on my skin. These blushes are crap when it comes to swatching. Like, I'm gonna be real about that. Oh, lots of being real in this video. Um, they're not great at swatching, but this is another one that I absolutely adore. And my final blush is actually kind of brown, is Dallas. I know, you guys feel like Sam, seriously, give me a little variety, but like, I'm sorry, I gotta keep it real. All right, so this is what it, <laughs> that's what I see. This one's definitely more neutral. A lot of people use this to contour. I think this makes a great nude blush, and I got this, I don't know, sometime over the year when I was visiting uh, Danarino. Danny Arino. Dana, Dana Beferoni. Okay, <laughs> so this is what it looks like down here. It is a great, great neutral shade, and I think this is a great blush. I was really into nude blushes this year, even though I'm wearing pink blush today. I know. I'm such a, like, I'm a walking contradiction. I don't know what the problem is. Let's go into eyes now. We're going to talk about eyes. First of all, do I really even need to tell you what I prime with every day? Hello, Max Painterly Paint Pot, bomb.com. I love it so much. I use this primer every single day and I never use anything but. There's just no reason to ever use anything but Painterly. It cancels out the redness and like the weird squishy look to my eye. Um, you know, my skin around my eyes, it just matches my skin. It's perfection. So I always keep to using that. No exceptions made. No exceptions made. Okay. Do you guys see my earrings? Yes. Okay. So, eyeshadow palettes. I have four. Five that I want to talk about this year. Five this year. All right. So, I'm going to talk about one that is very, very special to me. And that is this. Look at this palette. This is my palette. Uh, this is the Samantha Riley curated palette from Serenity and Scott. Uh, this year I worked with Serenity and Scott and picked out my favorite shades and they actually made a palette for me and then they sold it at IMATS. It's still on their website. I absolutely love these shades. These are my favorite Serenity Scott shades and I just, I love it. I love it. These shadows are so high quality. They're vegan, cruelty free, gluten free, blah, 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 blah. All the good stuff that people look at nowadays for eyeshadows. They are so pigmented. These shadows are just gorgeous. And if you guys are looking for some new fun eyeshadows, you definitely need to check out Serenity Scott. Maybe check out the Sam Riley palette. Like, Ask for the Sam Riley palette. They'll give it to you. There you go. So this is the palette that I work with with Serenity Scott. So that is that. Definitely one of my favorites for 2015. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Duh. I chose it. My favorite. Hello. Oh no. Hello. Next eyeshadow palette we're going to talk about is the Rainforest After the Dark. After the Dark. <laughs> Rainforest After Dark by Tarte. Guys, I had to move hell and high water to get this palette, and I absolutely love it. Now this happens to be one of my favorite blushes in here, but I'm not gonna talk about it separately with the other brush blushes because it's in the palette. This is life. Honestly, purples and golds, browns, plummy nudes, highlight, contour, blush, 
bam this palette all inclusive absolutely stunning every time I wear these shadows people are like what are you wearing right now so beautiful I love it I feel like Cleopatra every time I wear these eyeshadows I, I don't know I don't know I, can you explain it I can't explain it but it's so beautiful I mean really like look at that gold gold it's so beautiful you guys it's still available you can get it I don't know if you can get it at Ulta but you can definitely get it at Tarte's website beautiful it's it's the best it's the, it's the best this eyeshadow this is like the Tarte show because the next two palettes are actually from Tarte as well my Tarte lip palettes now yes I only got this a month ago but it quickly became my favorite palettes along with this Tarte palette. I'm wearing the eyeshadows today. If you want to see this look, I will link it below when it becomes available. These two palettes are absolutely stunning. I love this Tarte lip palette. Oh, I know. This shadow power player, like, bit the big one. Oh, so upset because it's one of my favorite in, the, in the, the palette. But these shadows are so, so beautiful. They are well blended. They, they blend well, they are pigmented, and they are quality, high quality. Just along with the uh, Tarlet in Bloom palette, which is the sequel. Again, so beautiful, but this one is a little different. This has 12 shades, but three of them are shimmer or metallic, where the other, um, the other Tarlet first original is all matte shades. So I've, I'm a matte shadow girl. I've accumulated a few birthdays, so I don't only use all frosty metallic. That doesn't stop me. My age does not stop me from glitter, guys. Let's, let's, you know better than that. But anyway, um, I love this palette. I, oh, it's so good. Like, it's so good I almost had to eat my hand. That's how good it is. And the last palette I had to give love to, this is a longtime favorite of mine, and it will never get old. This is the Naked Basics 1 palette. Yes, yes, yes. Great highlight shades. Great crease shades. Great dark shades. It's just self explanatory whenever I go on vacation I take this little bad boy and then a couple of like accent colors and that's it great palette that's it just great that's it since we're talking about eyes I might as well talk about glitter now you know I can't resist some glitter this is the nude trio from lid cosmetics you guys know I love lid cosmetics they make the most amazing glitters ever so I had gotten this back at IMATS in April. This is, there are three nude shades. So this one is fully nude, which is stunning. Oh my gosh. This one is called Modern Love, which I've used this in multiple tutorials. Absolutely beautiful. Great for like a little pop of glitter right on the lower lash line. And this final one is Express Yourself, which is like a copper glitter. They are all, all super, super fine, so gorgeous, and they make the most amazing liners. So this is my favorite glitters of 2016. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about mascara. All right, yes, let's talk about mascara. Some of my favorite mascaras. My three favorite mascaras of 2015 are here. Some are oldies and goodies, and some of them are brand new to my collection. First off, CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This has the most amazing rubber bristle wand, and it's got a nice curve. Anytime you get a little clumpy on your mascara, you bust this little puppy out, and it will just separate your lashes. It is amazing. I love me some Clump Crusher. Next is a Benefit Roller Lash. I jumped on the Benefit Roller Lash from the get. I actually got the mascara before it was released because I, I think I got it from like Influencer or Clout or something like that and they sent it to me before it was released. Amazing. I love it so much. Again with the curved wand, it does not clump on me. It makes my lashes look long and thick and it doesn't smudge and it doesn't flake. Yes, yes, yes. Again, mixed reviews on the internet. I don't know why. I think it's such a great product. The final product is fairly new to me. I got it about a month ago, and I got it, um, it's called the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I'm wearing it today. This mascara is so good, you guys. It is so black. It's almost like a gel formula. The only thing is, is that do not even attempt at putting more than two coats on because your eyelashes will, will look like little spider legs, like, that haven't shaves in like a year. I mean, that's crazy. It's, it can get a little crazy. So you have to take your time with this mascara because you can really over apply it. But I love it. I love it so much. I love mascaras that I can just put one coat on and walk out the door. This is great for that. It's amazing. 
four eyeliners this year. A lot of them will probably be repeated from last year, to be honest. My two favorite liquid liners were the Eve Pearl Black Pearl Liquid Liner and the um, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Both are calligraphy tip pens. Great liquid liner. I'd say the Kat Von D actually smudges a little less on me than Eve Pearl, but um, Eve Pearl is my tried and true. I love it so much and I always stock up on it when I go to IMAX and Eve is just such an amazing person and I love to support her and um, yeah, I think they're great both eyeliners. You would be just amazing if you, either one or just oh so good. And this next eyeliner is by Jane and it is water resistant. This is in rose gold. I use this in my lower waterline a lot when I want to brighten up those tired ass eyes of mine. In, when I'm like first thing in the morning, you guys know I go to work at like 7 a.m. So when I'm looking for like a little pop of health, I pop this right in my waterline. It doesn't smudge and it really brightens up my eyes. So I love this product so much. Next, we're gonna move on to eyebrows because it's that time. We went from eyes now to eyebrows. This year, I was really seriously feeling pomade. I came into my own when it came into pomade. I absolutely love these products. I have tried so many. Elf, NYX, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I gotta give it to Anastasia Beverly Hills. They have won this battle. Even though it is, an expen it is expensive, it lasts forever. Like, the one that I've been using for over a year, like about a year, about a year now, is blonde, and look at how much I have left. Like, I still have months left on this little bad boy. I absolutely love this product. It does not smudge, it doesn't fade, it doesn't break down from my oil. It's so good. This is taupe, which I've been using not quite as much as blonde, but like I'm using it today. It depends on how dark I want my eyebrows to be. So beautiful, I love it. This is a great, great product. You don't need pencil, you don't need powder, you don't need anything to supplement when you're using pomades. It's so good. Not saying like if you want to use other products, you can't, can't, but you don't need to. Um, whenever I'm using pomades, I do supplement it to have a little bit more dimension with some gel. Both of the eyebrow gels I use are from my good friends from Serenity and Scott. I use Silver Fawn and Golden Blonde. Fawn is a little bit more taupey shade and then Golden Blonde is more gold. And they both have flex in it that makes your eyebrow look 3D instead of looking flat because your eyebrows have hair. They're supposed to look 3D. This makes it look 3D. It is amazing. I love these brow gels. They are inexpensive. They are beautiful and they are bomb. My next is my Micro NYX Brow Pencil. Whoa, it just almost got away from me. I don't know where the caps are because I'm ghetto, but um, <laughs> uh, this is what it looks like. I use the color in taupe. I will use this to define like the lower bottom part of my eyebrow. This helps me shape, map out my outline of my brows. I love this product. Again, you can get it at Ulta. Buy one, get one half off. Use your coupon. You can get those bad boys for like four bucks. They're amazing. When I was talking about mascara, I forgot to mention my my Clinique Bottom Lash, but do I really have to talk about it? Like, you guys know I love Clinique Bottom Lash. It never smudges ever. Like, that's all I need to say. It's the best 1050 you'll ever spend. All right, now to lips. This is the final topic, guys. I know you're hungry, you want a snack. You could pause me, go get a snack. But we're finishing this a little bit by right now. Okay, for lips, I absolutely adore my MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. This is great, especially because this is the year of liquid lipsticks. Well, 2015 was the year of liquid lipsticks. Everybody and their mother came out with a liquid lipstick, and this saves your lips from turning into the Sahara Desert. So good. You apply this. It kind of just looks like a regular chapstick, but there's something glorious about it. that You put it on, and then your lips don't dry out and want to die. So... Put that on, then put on any matte lipstick. Since we're talking about primer, we'll talk about remover. This I got from e.l.f. a couple months ago. This is the e.l.f. Long Wearing Lipstick Remover. You put this little gel business on your lips when you're wearing a long wearing lipstick, and then it wipes right off. This is so amazing, you guys. I just wanted to tell you that. I just I love it. It's so good. Let's start with lip liners, shall we? Okay, so I have five, I'm going to talk, it took me a second to count. Five we're gonna talk about. First is a Whirl Lip Liner by MAC, and this is a beautiful brownish mauve. Um, looks like that, it's a great natural color. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. 
it goes great all over the lips. Um, no, 5'4". One of those was an eyeliner. I don't know how Matt Costa Riche got in there. Okay, anyway. The next color is uh, Mauve by um, NYX, which actually kind of looks exactly like Whirl, but it's a little bit more plum. Okay, so let's, like, are we doing the same thing we did with the blushes, Samantha, like getting all the same color? This next color is by Serenity and Scott, which is essentially a lipstick in a pencil form. This is in the color Modern. When you guys go over to Serenity and Scott's website today and get my palette and, like, my brow gel, my favorite brow gel, you're going to get Modern, too. Modern is the most beautiful, dark, mauve, berry liner ever. It is so, so creamy, and it is beautiful. Anybody that tries this lip liner on, like has a moment. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Oh, it's so I mean, they can't even keep it in stock. I mean, that's how gorgeous it is. It constantly gets sold out. And the last color is by NYX, and this is called Plum. This is a beautiful berry wine color. So, this was really the trend this whole year for me, wearing like those wines and plums. So, you know, that's why my lip liners all look the same, because all my lipsticks that I was wearing were the same. Okay, so the final drag. All right, I'm going to show you my favorite lipsticks. I'm going to first start with this ColourPop color, and it's called Tootsie. Again, this is that purpley, grayish kind of shade. This was arguably the most worn shade for me in 2015. I absolutely love this. This is probably my favorite lipstick right now. I love this shade so much. Every time I wear it, I get compliments, and I just, I love the smile on it because it makes my teeth look white. It's so nice. I love it. I should be wearing it right now, actually. So beautiful. Um, the next two lipsticks are from MAC. This color is called Brave. Again, this is a, like a plummy mauve, but this is more on like that berry kind of warm side. So this is what Brave looks like. This paired with Sore Lip Liner or Whirl by MAC, absolutely beautiful. Love it. It's great. Makes your lips look juicy and it's just such a nice natural nude color. The next shade that I love that I've been wearing the hell out of is Russian Red by MAC. That is just a beautiful dark blue tone red. Oh, is it even blue? Like, I don't even know if it's a blue base. Like, I think it's blue based. Like, it's just so gorgeous. Like, look at it. It looks like, like, oh, just perfect. It's perfection. It's perfection. That's what it is. It's perfect. These next two colors are actually long wearing stains from Sephora. This first one is called uh, Marvelous Mauve, I think. I can never read the names because it's so small. These are the Rouge, these are cream slip stains. So this is what I think Mar Marvelous Mo looks like. It's just perfect. These Sephora ones are so beautiful. And this is like Blackberry something or other. I'm going to put it in the description bar for you guys because honestly the writing is so teeny tiny that I can't even tell you what it's called. But this is a great like a port wine stain color. The next two shades are both liquid lipsticks. These are my two favorite liquid lipsticks of the year. I almost forgot one, guys. I almost forgot one of my liquid lipsticks. Okay, um, I almost forgot one. I had to dig it out of my drawer. Um, this first one is by ColourPop, and this is in the color Trap. Again, this kind of looks like... This is the long wearing lips, uh, licks, lipstick version of Tootsie. So this is what a trap looks like. And Tootsie is right here. So you can see the colors, like they're very similar. Oh, so good. This next one is also by ColourPop and this is in the color More Better. And it's a beautiful dark berry. It's so stunning and it's wet. Like when it dries, it looks amazing. More Better. I hate the name. And the final liquid lipstick is by Dose of Colors, and this is in the color Stone. This honestly is like a your lips but better color, and it kind of looks like trap, but it has a little bit more pink in there. So that is Stone by Dose of Colors. And the final two products we're going to talk about are both glosses, and this will be no surprise to either one, any, anyone here. 
Uh, these are both by Buxom. These are the full-on lip creams. My two favorite shades are Dolly and White Russian. I will swatch them for you. White Russian is on my lips right now. White Russian is more of like a pinky nude, like a traditional nude, and Dolly is more of a plum nude. So this has that little minty flavor to them. Let's put a little bit of a little, little White Russian on there. Mm -hmm. So that is my mess. And now I have to clean up my sponges. Okay guys, those are my top favorite 2015 most used products. How do I end this video? I don't know. If you guys made it to the end, I love you. I can't believe you made it to the end because I've probably been talking for a million years. It's probably going to take me a million years to edit this video because there are so many products. I'm going to list all the products that I spoke about in the description bar in case you guys want to get them because it's convenient. Well, I love you guys. I hope you had an amazing 2015. It's time to start thinking about products that we want to love for this following year. If you guys have a favorites video, please link it in my comments below because I'd love to find out what your favorites are or just tell me. Tell me what your, your favorites are in, in the comment section so I can, you know, so we can, you know, you know, because maybe they'll be my favorites for 2016. Let's be real. Okay, guys, if you like this video, thumbs it up. Subscribe to the channel to the channel. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.